Hi guys, welcome to this YouTube video. It is the West Brom versus Fulham preview. Um, my hair like this because I've just trained in the absolute uh, throwing it down rain. But here is the review. Probably could have brought it out. Yes, review. Sorry, uh, I probably could have brought it out yesterday. But you know, we'll get on with it. Um, so Fulham, it's going to be a tough game, obviously. Uh, Livermore was back from, I think I'm guessing Moat's probably back as well as it was only a toe injury. Not exactly the one of the worst, not exactly the worst injury I've ever heard of. Um, but you know, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, if he's back, he's back. But I'm gonna move straight into the lineup. Moving on from that, really. Obviously, in goal, I want Johnston. Three at the back, Clark and Joey Bartley. My two wing, but. I O'Shea's back on his feet. Um, I've heard that. Obviously, he's not gonna, not in training yet, but he's back on his feet. Left wing back, Townsend. Right wing back, Furlong. Quite obvious there. My two in the field. This is quite a debatable one, to be honest, or quite a controversial one because there's a lot of decisions that could go either way. Jason Malombi and. Jason Malumbi and Jake Livermore. I'm going for those two. You might think, oh, but you could no, it's back, you chuck him straight back in, or oh, but Snodgrass was brilliant. <laughs> what I'm going with is a really good well, Malumbi's great in every area. There was no doubt in my mind that Malumbi's in there. It was just Livermore. Whether it was going to be Livermore, Mo or Snodgrass. By the way I've gone about that is Moats I've wiped him off because he's he's if he is coming back he's just coming back from injury so he's gonna be on the bench. The only reason, the only reason I've took Snodgrass I want him to come on as a sub, that's something I'll move on to and I'll explain that in a minute. But the reason why I feel Malumbi's got Malumbi and Livermore is because Livermore's savage in his challenges and always puts in a slight tackle. But Malumbi's also absolutely brilliant on his runs and I think if Malumbi can set it back to Livermore to smash it because Livermore he does have a shot behind him he rarely does it but when he does it he is a good goal so if he can slice uh, or set up uh, Livermore or anybody really it will be an absolutely brilliant goal or something like that we need that against Fulham we need that cutting edge um, and the only reason I didn't pick Snodgrass I think he's a brilliant player but He's not so aggressive in his tackles, that's the only reason I didn't pick him, and we've already got an attacker, an attacking midfielder, which is Milan, but he's brilliant, but we need someone who is probably commanding uh, in that midfield. Um, my three, kind of up top, I'm going to go with up top, I want Phillips, Grant and Robinson, or, this is a massive or, or, Diangana, Grant and um, Phillips, I think. Or Diangana. The only power I wouldn't take out is Grant for Diangana. Um, but if I'm gonna, if we'll go out with what we had last game: Phillips, Robinson, and um, yeah, Phillips, Robinson, and Grant. Grant left wing, Phillips at top for Robinson right wing. Uh, on the bench, the three subs I would like to see come on would be Mr. Um, Snodgrass, Moat and Ingana. Those are the three subs I'd like to come on. Um, you know, I don't feel like there's any need. Uh, if there is a full sub, I'd like to see Hugo come on. Those are the four subs I feel like that really need to be up, up for an option to come on. Um, yeah, those are the ones that need to be there. My score prediction is a 3-2 win to Albion. I'm not going with anything else. I think 3 to I only really should go with one here. It is a Fulham game. We've got to win it. There's no other way going about it. I think it'll be a 3-2 win. Um, I think it'll be a tight game. It'll definitely be a tight game. I am watching it. I might not watch the last 30. Well, I mean, yeah, we might not watch the last uh, 30 minutes, but, you know... Because we're, we're going crazy, so yeah, that would be a tough one. We'll be able to watch it on our phone, but you know what it's like. Sometimes you don't want to waste your data and stuff like that. But it does mean another vlog will be out uh, as well. So you know, I'll uh, 
I'll see you then, I guess. Uh, 3 2, I'll give you my, my prediction. 3 2, I'll give him the lineup. Of what I'm saying, uh, and you know, I've gone with it 3 2. Goal scorers for us, I'm going to go with Grant to get one, Robinson to get one, and I'm going to go for Malombi to get his first. I think it's yeah, his first goal. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.